Welcome to the Pinoy Crossover. Kumusta kayo lahat? This is the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ. Joining me right beside me is the small arm. Who <laughs> Mike? Right there. And we got two special guests. We got Jamil and Ryan, both repping some teams. <laughs> got the attire on. Uh, we're going to go straight to the showdown. And that's where they will be debating on some points that Marky Mark has created. So let's go to the game floor. Welcome to the game floor. And here we at Pinot Cross of Showdown. We got Ryan here on the right. And we got Jamil ready to take it on. Punch by punch, right? You guys ready? Yeah, we Let's ready. All right, I'm gonna ask these guys a question, and in three, two, one, they're gonna give me their answer, and then they're gonna defend why their answer is better than the other person, right? You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. Let's do it. First question Who's been the best rookie not named Ben Simmons? Three, two, one. Donovan Mitchell. Woo! <laughs> okay, since you said it first, why Mitchell? Donovan Mitchell? Well, first of all, uh, no one expected him to go into the top 10. He was, what, drafted, I think, 12 by Utah. No, by Denver, and then got traded to Utah. No one thought he was going to be a superstar, but here he is exceeding expectations. And the fact that Gordon Hayward left Utah, and no one, everyone thought Ronnie Hood was maybe going to take over the offensive scoring load, but it ended up being Donovan Mitchell, because Ronnie Hood is still injury prone. And they're still, I, I don't know what their standing is. I haven't been paying attention, but I know they're playoff bound. And the fact that Gobert is still out and he's still carrying the team, I think that's crazy. That's good well, point. there is a lot of hype on Mitchell. You know who has a bigger hype on? Kyle Kuzma. This guy was the steal Come of the on. draft, 27th, seven, 27th pick. And he's the first Laker to, to be a rookie and lead the team in scoring since Magic Johnson. So what he's been doing, especially on the bright lights, has been impressive. I think the three-point percentage is really up. And he, he likes to complimentally uh, play with uh, Brandon Ingram and uh, Lonzo Ball. So I, li I really like uh, Kuzma right now. Ooh, I like both your answers. <laughs> but that power forward uh, position is logjam, man. You got Larry Nance and you got uh, Julius Randle. Well, so we'll see. We'll, well see. Like, he's, like, I'm going to defend the fact that the bright lights is there and that like, rookies usually falter away from that big market uh, in LA. So I'm really surprised that he's leading the team in scoring. So. <laughs> Good claim. Good points. Let's go to the second one. I'm going to get my judgment later on after the second question. All right. Which big name player will be the first to get traded in 2018? Three, two, one. Marcus Boogie Sol. Cousins. Ooh. Ooh. Why Marcus Gasol? Marcus Gasol. I don't know. Memphis does not have a direction right now. I think it's the best thing for them to do is to rebuild. That's going to start with their big, their big player in Marcus Gasol. He's already showed subtle hints that he, he doesn't mind leaving Memphis. And like Conley's probably next. So I like to see Gasol maybe on the Raptors, maybe hopefully away from Boston and Cleveland. But I think he's the be next big name, especially with the trade deadline pushed before the All-Star break. Mm -hmm. Ooh. A boogie. A boogie? I mean, the Pelicans, you know, I wanted them to succeed, but <laughs> they're, they're very mediocre. You know, Davis and Anthony, they could play well, but the team itself, it's not working out. And I think Boogie can go somewhere better. I, maybe Cleveland, I see. But I hope he doesn't go to Cleveland, but I just see him getting traded. It's not working out. Davis is their cornerstone. And Holiday, I'm not a true believer in. Rondo's only there for one year. I don't think he's gonna stay. So the Pelicans, like, like Memphis too, they don't have a direction. I think they need to rebuild. Uh, my probably beef with only that pick is Boogie, it's, it's, and he's only a year and a half. I think he still he would want to give them a chance. Like the, just the thought alone of having Davis and Cousins playing together is just like enticing enough for him. So I don't know. We'll see like what the Pelicans do, but I think they, there's still a chance he sticks around. So I mean, maybe, maybe mm. it's his hometown, kind of, but I don't yeah. see it happening. That's what we have. Judgment coming in. First up, we got the Kyle Kuzma versus Donovan Mitchell. I like the points that you have saying that Kyle Kuzma is probably one of the biggest steal because of the fact that he was picked almost last. Yeah. Exactly. And he's leading the Lakers in scoring. But the big thing to me is winning. And because <laughs> Donovan Mitchell is playing at this level and they're winning in the playoffs. That's hard, you know, for a rookie to do that, to lead a team that he wasn't even expected to do anything because they had a quick, you know, a full load of backcourt and Gobert has been injured and has been carrying the load. So I'm going to give that to you. But for the next round, I'm going to give it to you because Marc Gasol, you're right, they need to rebuild. And there's really nothing to hold on. Like, there's nothing for Marc Gasol to hold on. And really, uh, the team, no one's really, you know, there's no big names. They waste a lot of money on Chandler Parson. And 
Oh. Mike Conley is always injured. Where's Boogie? He has some. He has a person to hold on. Anthony Davis exactly. is a superstar. Yeah. You can't leave. You know that's their saying. You can't leave LeBron, but Davis is close to that kind of player. You can't leave a player like Davis. And I think Boogie has more incentive to stay and more incentive to see where this goes as opposed to Gasol, who's nowhere really to go.